Team, your turn, bitch. <laughs> You're watching. Another. Call of Duty. Gameplay commentary. What is up, guys? Panda, we're up with another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary. I'm gonna be on the map bootleg with like two friends. I think Javimar and Zimar. And look how this game starts off, man. I don't like this fucking game anymore. This game was. Ugh. Yeah, it's a bro app with me and Zimar. And right now I'm not in the best of mood. I thought I'd do a commentary, try to feel better, but I don't know if it's working or not. I'm still kind of angry. This is not well, going to be one of my best commentaries. I'm mad because stupid BS. I mean, <clears throat> and then it's not even about this game. Some ignorant little kid wants to on my video and call me a faggot because I was joking around in free game lobby. This is called it's an only game. I like to have fun and having fun before like we're actually shooting each other in the face. Is I like to talk drunk in the free game lobby, not like, oh you suck, like oh, you suck at this game, kill yourself. Like, I'm not being serious. I tell one of my, I tell all of my closest friends all the time to go kill themselves. I'm not telling you guys to go out and tell all your friends to kill themselves. I do it as a joke. They know I'm joking. I would never want them to kill themselves. And it's just the people that take it to the head, the people that actually believe what other people say. I mean, there's just words. I'm not, I'm, you're not bad at the game if you're not bad at the game. And if I did, like, talk down to you, it's either because you're using blind eye and assassin, or you're camping in a corner like the bad person you are. But if I was joking around, saying stupid stuff, don't be mad. Don't you play, play along next time. I enjoy when people, I have a good time when we have, like, laughs in the pre-game lobbies. I think it's cool. And I think it's fun. That's what I like to do. Cause the kid comes on my video, calls me that, and then he calls me a douche. He's like, I think, he's like, um, you're just another one of those douchebag commentators who like to talk junk. But he, I go on his channel and I find out he's trying to make a clan of goats about what he's a white boy fanboy. I have nothing against white boy. One of my favorite commentators. He's one of the first commentators I've started watching. He calls me a douchebag commentator for talking junk to kids. If I'm a douchebag commentator, he is a white boy is the biggest douchebag commentator. Because I'm pretty sure if if you guys watch any of his like high roller live or live com live anything that he uploads, he talks junk and he has fun doing it. He doesn't mean it, he's just doing it for entertainment and to have fun at the game. And some of the kids he talks to take it to the head. But I don't know why they do it. We're just doing it for fun. <clears throat> I mean, coming on somebody's YouTube video and commenting negative stuff is stupid. You gain nothing out of it. You actually get a negative out of it. You get one more person not liking you or blocking you on YouTube. And it's just stupid. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. But if you're like in an argument about something, say what you got to say. Don't hold back. I mean, matter of fact, I take a I take back if you don't have anything nice to say. Speak what you think. Just make sure you think something smart. Because if you think of something dumb and you say it, you're stupid, nobody's if you be saying it. But that's all I gotta talk about. That kid coming on my video, saying some stupid stuff. But I have fun playing Call of Duty because I'm I don't know if it's gonna be around any longer. Tell you the truth, the way this franchise is going, it's going downhill. Black Ops 2 is either make or break for this franchise. If that game sucks, I think I'm done playing video games forever. Not a joke, but I might not play video games as much because first-person shooters are what me got me in. What me got me are what is what got me in to playing video games. Before that, I had Pokemon on Game Boy Advance and stuff, and. I get my Moab, and I tell Zmar to call them in, and I die, and I'm just talking about the gameplay. But you always gotta do a little epic knife when somebody gets their Moab, and then you always gotta do it. I don't care if it's your hundredth or your hundred and fifty or two hundred. You gotta do it just for the the epic slow motion matrix of it, and you still gotta do it even when you flash yourself and look like an idiot doing it. 
So yeah, and since the gameplay is coming to an end, which means the commentary is coming to an end. If you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, go watch a different video and don't leave hate. And if you want to see more, subscribe.